This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone and welcome to the new episode of Horror Game Course. In this episode we're gonna be talking about jump scares and how can we create one and when we should do it and when we should not. Uh, at the start I wanna say sorry for my voice, I'm kinda sick. So let's let's start. <coughs> Uh, we're gonna open our map one and uh, let's talk about jump scares. What is jump scare? Jump scare is something that you will use to scare the player, but you should not overuse it. So you you shouldn't just uh, do it at every corner because if it becomes predictable, the game loses its feeling. So you should like build up the tension and then scare the player because if you just perma scare the player you cannot build the tension because the player is gonna get annoyed by how much jump scares you have so the best thing is to have limited jump scares like you build the tension and then you jump scare the pl player sorry so we're gonna just create a small uh, box like this that's gonna be like our room can build like a hole, you know. So we can build it like this. Let's make it smaller. Oh. That will do. Uh, first of all, I want to turn off the gameplay music that I was doing in the last tutorial because it's not nice because when I talk and test you cannot really hear me clear. So how can we create a jump scare? Well jump scares are particularly made uh, through the trigger box so there is uh, a lot of jump scares that you can do. So first of the jump scares uh, is the easiest one. We can create uh, we can create UI, call it VB, widget, widget blueprint, uh, jump scare, VB jump scare. Call it VB jump scare. And you can uh, find the image that you want. And just give me a second, I'm gonna find the image. So I found myself image, we're gonna head out to the image folder and we're just gonna drag the PNG file or GPG whatever you have and call it jumpscare. With that being said, we open UI, Visual, Blur Visual Blueprint Jumpscare, we set it to desired and we drag the image into the, can uh, into the designer and at the brush we can change the picture here and we can set it like this and also we can set up the image and this is this is gonna be our jump scare so now we need to go to our master uh, uh, UI that we don't have so we're just gonna create one and we're gonna call it VB master UI and basically we're gonna nest everything inside of this this is the one that's gonna have a canvas panel and uh, for now that's good and we can also put the jump scare here and we can locate it at mid uh, and anchor it to the mid and align it 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so it's in the middle, and put the size 500, 500. Okay. So now we need to add this master UI to viewport for our player. So you can see we already have connected begin play, but what we can do is just create a sequence like that, and from there create a widget. So we are creating widget. 
for our player. That's master UI. And we're also gonna promote it to variable. So it's like uh, uh, master UI reference. And after that, just add it to your first. So why we create reference here is because we want to access uh, the components inside of the widget uh, like without casting. So how we can do it now is I'm gonna show you. So this here right now is component of our widget blueprint master UI. And we can easily access it by getting our master UI ref. And we can just get get uh, 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 we can also create uh, another thing create widget and just create a uh, jump scare and promote it to variable call it jump scare ref add to the upper viewport like this. Actually, no add to viewport. We don't want to add to viewport because we're adding it to master UI. So we're gonna get Jumpscare, set its visibility. Set its visibility to be hidden by default. So we can connect it. Actually, we don't have to do that. Sorry, I'm so sick that my <laughs> it's playing with my head. Okay, uh, we we will just set it here to be uh, invisible. So visibility uh, collapsed. So right now, I figure out what we did and. Uh, we don't have to do this. We can just delete this, sorry. And uh, we can just get our master URF. And you know how we couldn't call the jump scare? It's because we didn't uh, set it up as a variable. So when you create uh, from user created, when you drag it here, jump scare, just make sure you set it as variable so you can use it. And make sure visibility is collapsed. And now from master UI ref you can get jump scare. And we can set visibility to visible and we can create it as a custom event. And call it jump scare. And now we have a working jump scare but we need to call this event somehow and we're gonna do it by going uh, into the blueprint actors and we're gonna create actor and uh, call it pp trigger box trigger jump scare actually and add box collision and this is gonna be good so pull it into the level make sure you select the hole so basically you can just scale it with W for movement, R for scaling, and E for rotating. But now we need to set up the, uh, the code here. So we'll click the box collision that we just made, add event, on component begin overlap. We're gonna call do once. And from there we will call well, we actually need to cast to our character first. 
So why are we casting here? Uh, I'm basically just getting. Uh, 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 I want to get this event. So as HP character, I'm gonna get a character reference. So now pull get uh, get character reference and call the event jumpscare. And that should work perfect. We are getting some errors. Oh, what the... So object could be get player character. I don't know what's happening with me today. Okay, so this should work now. It's jump scare. We need to make it bigger. But also what you realize is we don't have it removed from our from our screen, so we can uh, create another event. We call it we can just copy that and call it collapsed. So jump scare off. So we need to call this jump scare off, and we're gonna do it simply by cl clicking box collision on component. Um, where is it? End overlap. We will just. So why are we posting do once? That's so player doesn't get jump scared every time he triggers with the box, and change this to jump scare off. And here, out of the jump scare, we can play sound 2D to add some jump scare sound. And we already <coughs> added one. So now, if uh, we try and test it, we can actually put a point light here. Or the spotlight. And now if we go and test it, as you can see it was very uh, low duration, so how can we fix that is uh, we can just set delay here, do once, and delay is how much you want the picture to stay on the screen, so I want it for one second, so now if we press play again. As you can see, it was longer, and if we go back through it, we still uh, do it only once. So there is some other thing that I want to do, is there is a way to play with the uh, player's head. So what you can do here is you can create another actor, call it uh, just BP wall, and uh, Basically, you can when the player triggers with something, you can create a wall behind him that he doesn't know that if it exists. So you can just question him. Okay, did this wall actually exist? So pp wall, create a cube. Here you can put your wall model, of course. I'm just creating cube because I don't have wall model. And bring it here. Make sure it fits where you want it. So I need it a little bit Okay, I'm not gonna make it perfect for this tutorial, but Yes, this is what you need So we will have another trigger box That's gonna spawn this wall So This wall is gonna be uh, not here, but we need to we need to have this wall here to copy it location. So we're gonna create another uh, trigger box. 
and call it uh, BP trigger wall. And also we need box collision. So we are basically using these box collisions to activate some code on the overlap. That's a pretty easy way to activate some things. And uh, now we should get our box, uh, right click box collision, add event, or begin overlap, and spawn after. Uh, we're gonna also do it once. And the actor that we want to spawn is. Where did I make it? BP wall. So you can just select like that or call, call it like BP wall from here. So spawn transform is basically location where we want to spawn it. So we're just gonna uh, uh, copy everything that we have here. So location. We cannot copy it like that. Okay, we're just gonna write it. So just make it minimized and write the location. So the location is 708. For you it's probably gonna be different. So just do what's your sizes. Okay, so that should be working. Perfect. And uh, we can also play the sound. So now we just delete this wall and we can go and test it. So as you can see we don't have a wall, now the wall is behind us, just spawned. So uh, that's two types of jump scares, I mean the wall is not that jump scare but it's good to know, it's good to play with player's head. Uh, what else you can do is you can spawn the characters, but you would basically spawn them in the same way you just spawn this uh, wall. So, uh, where is it? Trigger jump scare. I need this one. So basically you would also get all act uh, spawn actor from the class. You would make a blueprint for the character. But I have tutorial on it, the, where I'm making it. So I can just uh, put a link in the description where I'm putting the character with the animation from the Mixamo to be a jump scare. But for now I just wanted a simple jump scare to show you how to trigger something and scare the player. But as I said, you shouldn't make too many jump scares in the game because it kills the vibe. So you should always build tension and then scare the player when he doesn't expect it. But the best way you can do jump scares, I mean images not that high quality to do it like with image but uh, you can jump scare with the sounds right because the sounds make horror game horror game so keep that in mind and i think for now uh, i said everything that i wanted to say this uh, in this video i'm really sick so i will end the video here and if you have any more questions about the jump scares please feel free to ask me in the comments and i will answer every single one so, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.